Okay, this uh, video is to help you understand how to take a facing degree using Google Earth and then to put it onto a four pillar, the Four Pillars program to draw the stars for you. So if you don't already have Google Earth, you can uh, find it with your browser online and download it. It's a free, free program. And um, when you open it up, you should get a screen something like this. So the first thing we have to do is put the address in the search field here. So uh, today we're going to be looking at 7 English Street in Brampton. So you enter it, then you can either hit enter or click the search button. Now when you um, get your picture, you can use the scroll button on your mouse to go uh, to get macro and micro views. Now this is really useful to see what the surrounding landscape is like in the form of uh, rivers or streets and ac actually even see if there's any uh, water. I don't sure this is maybe just a trail but it uh, you can see that uh, this area is commercial and this area is residential so right away that tells you our facing is yang and our sitting is yin so this is a good thing. Uh, going closer here cuz now this is a this is our house right here we want to get in get a pretty uh big view here now this is kind of fuzzy so our degree could fluctuate um, several degrees because of the shadiness and fuzziness here of this picture so when we're happy with uh, our lineup which we want either the facing or the sitting to line up with the edge of our frame. We use this button to uh, control the the movement and when we want to double check it we can use our mouse to just hold the button down and push it up like that. When you're happy with the position you can check the place with the place marker by pushing this yellow push tab. A pop-up screen will come and then you press the view tab. You see you have a heading of 46 degrees. Now you have to remember Toronto has a 10 degree declination so you will need to add 10 to that and that will give you 56. So our facing is 56 degrees. Okay you might want to mark that down. Uh, just before we leave this program, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. If you want to take a picture, you could, uh, or uh, Google Maps will take you there. You can save the image here onto your uh, system, or if you want it to print or email. Maybe you want to do some measuring, like how far is this or, or that, or, or maybe this. So anyway, you can use the ruler to measure. Um, well, I don't know if you want to go to other planets, but there it is. This will show you the way the sun is across the landscape. Now this is an important button. It shows you the historical imagery. So uh, this will tell us uh, that this was done in um, 2014 because they're done at different times. Uh, then you can do some other buttons here. Add a pathway and there's our magic uh, place marker which we, we use to find the degrees. Okay, so uh, you can also play with this. There's a lot more there to discover and enjoy. We're going to close this off now. Then we're going to open our Four Pillars program or Feng Shui 4.2. There is a cost for this program. Uh, you can find it at 4, F -O -U -R -P -I -L -L -A -R -S dot net. It's the one that we use in the Feng Shui Research Center, but of course you can use whatever one you want or you don't even need to use software. But if you did, you could get this one for a free trial of 30 days. Uh, when it opens, it normally opens in the I Ching program. That's this one here. They also have nine star key and date selection. But we're going to do flying, we'll be opening the flying stars. 
So with the Find Star program, you enter your data. Now for this particular project, I have chosen 1945 because that was the year it went from a single residential home to a nine uh, a nine apartments turned into co commercial use. So most likely the period did change because the use changed. So that would be a 1945 period and the facing we just determined to be 56 degrees. Now the different colors coming up here, red, yellow, uh, and orange, is how close it is to a void line. The red would be on a void line, and be very careful of those. So since we get to 56, there we are. Uh, we can also put in the visiting stars, period, and year. These are the annuals. Annual in the year period is every 20 years. There's your 20-year star, and that's your annual star. Now we want to go to the floor plan. And to open your floor plan, make sure it is in uh, bitmap. If it is a JPEG, you can resave it into bitmap. That's the only files it takes. So it does take, uh, sorry, it does take these files too. But bit, bitmap is what you will need to, um, for the floor plan. Uh, so I just have to go to where I saved it. That brings it in. Now I want to mark off uh, my square. So I square it up. I don't worry about these pieces at the end. Uh, we don't worry about missing missing corners because remember chi comes from the eight directions. It's not a location. We fly the stars. Oh, I made a mistake. I wanted to put in these stars too and I didn't do it. I may have also made a mistake here, but in this case it was okay because my facing is there. So if I did make a mistake and I want to go back, I just hit the undo button. And yes, I want period and yes, I want year. Now I'm going to mark off my square again. And fly the stars. Now I have my, uh, my period star and my annual star. Now, if I wanted to add some words, like um, maybe uh, I want to put in, maybe I don't like that color, I want a red, okay, and I want to put in the word facing, so you, you hit the alpha, you type, and uh, then uh, you take your cursor and this little hand will, will do that, so you hit your type, take your mouse, and so that's how you can, can use this. And then maybe I decided, well, I don't really want that. I can erase it. Or I can also erase these things, uh, these as well. But we'll leave them for now. If I wanted to draw a box, line, squiggly line, play with it. Uh, there's lots to learn. Yeah, now, so if we wanted to print it, we would go to the print icon. You may not want to do the chart, just the floor plan. And you pick your language, you hit print. Pick your printer, and go. So that's it. See you tomorrow. Have fun.